quarantine here for us in the RV. But we are finally getting back on the road. Um, today is our moving day. Mother's Day also. Not quite how I like to spend Mother's Day, but if it means we get to get back on the road, I am okay with that. So I'll show you a little bit of moving day, a little bit of our traveling and setting up in our new campsite. And uh, along the way, tell you what quarantine has been like for us. Well, one of the things we did on the road was some remodeling. We've been slowly painting the uh, wood in the RV, but it's taken us a long time. And uh, despite some maybe not really feeling like doing it, uh, kind of bummed out about the state of the world, we finally, after about four weeks, decided that we should make some effort. So you can see behind us, we painted our cabinets. Started on the backsplash, but we were having a little bit of trouble with that, so we paused it yesterday. But at least we have some paint on our cabinets. Looks pretty good. So we spent most of our quarantine period at Goose Creek RV in Newport, North Carolina. It's a really cool campground. This was our view from our windows. Um, they do have a really cool water slide here. Of course it was closed. Honestly, that's not totally uh, COVID, but it is pretty chilly here. <laughs> the only problems were that it was super windy, which meant we couldn't really do our awning or anything like that. But it was a really nice campground to be stuck at. Um, close to the beach, beaches are closed. Um, lots of restaurants, only could do takeout, but it was still pretty nice. Um, now we are moving to another spot in uh, North Carolina and then hoping to make our way north to our family in Massachusetts. <gasps> Sirius, are you glad it's a moving day? Huh? Are you glad it's moving day? Oh. Who's a good boy? Well, in true all over the map fashion, we are still at the campground. Um, we seem to have misplaced the RV hitch uh, breakaway switch, which is not a huge deal. It's only like a $5 piece of plastic, but basically it uh, applies the brakes to the RV if uh, the trailer should detach from the hitch. Um, we can't find it. So, we are trying to work out a solution to that. Everything is closed. Um, yeah, should be fun. We'll see what happens. While we're waiting, let's see how the kids handled quarantine. Fiona, did you find it hard not going places or were you okay staying at home all the time? Um, sometimes both. Yeah. Sometimes I wanted to go out and sometimes I was just fine with staying inside. Was, um, did it, did it feel very different? Um, or was life mostly the same for you? Um, it felt a little more different. Yeah, what was different? Um, I was more nervous about going outside to do, to do stuff. Mm, okay. What are you looking forward to about finally getting back on the road? Um going to cool new places and seriously getting to go to the dog park more. That's right. He's been okay though. You guys mm -hmm. have been taking him on long walks so he hasn't been too crazy. Yeah. You think he misses seeing other dogs though? Yeah. Alright Colin, so you and dad got the uh, hitch fixed? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you have a driver's license now. Yep. You sure you don't want to drive? I'm sure. What are you going to be doing on our drive? I don't know. Hopefully playing the new game you downloaded last night? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Well, we have our audiobook to listen to, too. Mm -hmm. We yep. were listening to... Uh, Wings of Fire? Wings of Fire, right. And we stopped for, like, five weeks in the middle of it. Six mm. weeks. Six weeks we were here? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Okay, well, I'm sure you can do both. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for helping Daddy out. No problem. So we are doing our travel day a little bit different from normal, uh, considering we want to be safe and considerate of others. Um, normally we make stops at uh, rest areas or whatnot to use the bathroom. We're not going to do that this time. Um, we are pulled over at a school right now uh, using the bathroom in the RV, which is not quite as fun. <laughs> um, 
We also made sure we grabbed enough snacks and drinks that we didn't have to stop anywhere, which we normally try to do, but um, we were extra careful today to make sure we'd be fine. Um, we made sure we filled up both vehicles um, with the same person ahead of time, pumping gas, you know, using gloves, washing hands, masks, all that fun stuff. Basically trying to cut down on places we have to stop while we're on the road. Um, we're still doing shelter in place basically. We just want to uh, move north as we are doing so. Keep going. Keep going. You got plenty of room back here. So what have you thought about sheltering in place? Was that hard for you? Well, not really. I mean, I can't see any friends. I can't meet any friends. And yeah, it was hard. Yeah. But the good thing about this place is we might be uploading more videos. Uh, and of course, you know, these are my because there's like a, a lake over there. And don't we have like a blow up canoe? Not a canoe yeah. that blows up, but like, but like a canoe that if you pump it up with air, it, it you know, it basically, a, I can't I, explain I, it. I, we understand. So we got some new toys while we were at Goose Creek, but we didn't get a chance to use them. What's the one that we just set up? Uh, this one, I think? Yeah, what's it called? Do you remember? It's called a clam. A clam, and do you like it? Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? I think... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like really cool. Yeah. It's nice that the bugs can't come in and get us if it's buggy. Like when it gets dark yeah, and the mosquitoes come you out. Yeah, know, they can, they can just go out from, you know, come in. Well, if you them. zip it, they can't come in. Yes, right? but they can still go under. That's how I got in once. I, I closed that and then like lifted up that and then crawled under. Okay. Well, I don't think like bees and stuff are going to do that. Yeah. Right. And so will we try out our inflatable kayak here? Yep. Yep. So oh, we're glad to be on the road we're glad to be on the road Wait. again, right? Do you make sure we have giant sticks? Sticks? What do we need the sticks for? Uh to roll it? Yes, that's taken care of. Okay. It's not sticks, they're called oars or paddles. Oh uh, yeah, I call well, usually uh, when you're in the wild surviving, you just have to get sticks. That's true. All right. And usually you won't be able to make something like that. That you only probably be able to make that. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Niall. All right. Well, we have made it safely to our next campground. It is good to be on the move, even though we are still uh, sheltering in place. Um, we have our clam set up, which is our first time getting to use it. It looks awesome. Doug is cooking a delicious dinner for Mother's Day for me. And uh, we're going to have a nice night. Maybe play some D&D. We'll see. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Bye.